Hey there, you may have heard about something called the Higgs field, but what is it? In order to understand the Higgs field, we need to ask some questions. The first is, what is an elementary particle? An elementary particle is like a toy brick. It can be used to make anything from a small house to an entire city. Familiar elementary particles include quarks, electrons, photons, and a bunch more. This collection is known as the Standard Model. But there was one tiny problem with the Standard Model. Prior to the 1960s, theories predicted that photons and W and Z bosons should all be massless. Experimentation showed that photons were indeed massless as predicted. However, the W and Z bosons had mass. This meant one of two things. Either decades of theories were wrong, or something else, unknown, was adding mass to the particles. This unknown was later discovered to be the Higgs boson. In the 1960s, Dr. Peter Higgs and his team postulated that a universal field permeating space gave mass to all elementary particles based on how much they interacted with it. The W and Z bosons interact a lot with the Higgs field and gain mass, while particles such as photons don't interact with the field at all and thus are massless. This field is accompanied by the Higgs boson, which the field uses to interact with the particles. Still confused? Let's use an analogy. Many of us have read or seen the Harry Potter series. Let's represent the Higgs field as a crowd and mass as the popularity of the characters in the series. If Draco Malfoy, a fairly unpopular character, walks through the crowd, nobody really wants to socialize with him. Draco would move through the crowd pretty quickly, like a photon moving through the Higgs field. Draco's unpopularity is similar to the masslessness of a photon. Now imagine that Harry Potter, a popular character in the series, walked through everybody would immediately crowd around him and interact with him. This slows down Harry. In our analogy, Harry Potter's popularity is similar to the mass of a particle, such as the W and Z boson. Remember that without the crowd, both Draco and Harry are equal. Their amount of interaction with the crowd gives them their popularity. The Higgs field, like the crowd, gives mass to elementary particles based on their interaction with it. I hope this helped you understand the Higgs field better. And thanks for watching.